sun rise to the sky The wheel of time begins to turn We heard it, a divine voice out of nowhere Spoke to our hearts and showed the way Germans, though, brought in a fairly new and extremely dangerous weapon, gas. Now, now gas warfare was fairly new. In 1914, the French had used tear gas, and in early 1915, the Germans had first used poison gas at Bolimov, though that failed. Since then, however, it had had a devastating effect on the totally unprepared and ill-equipped Russian soldiers, who died gruesome and horrible deaths in the deadly clouds of gas. Without gas masks to protect themselves, the defenders of Osovitz were expected to suffer the same fate. In the early morning of August 6th, as the winds were finally favorable, the German gas batteries opened up. A dark green smog descended upon the battered defensive works. The wave of gas crept over the Russian lines, creating a death zone. The gas used was made out of a mixture of chlorine and bromine. While the bromine acted as a respiratory irritant, the chlorine attacked the lungs, chemically burning them, right? The chlorine attached itself to moisture in the air, turning it to hydrochloric acid, which then bit into the membranes and flesh of the lungs, aggressively dissolving the soft tissue. The Russian soldiers were literally choking on their own blood, as every breath they took destroyed their lungs. Unable to breathe, they died in agony, coughing out bloody lumps of their own lungs. But it was not only the lungs that suffered, as the acid attacked the soft tissues of the eyes and noses, burning them chemically as well. The soldiers burned from the inside out. Many died within the first few minutes. Into a Russian counter-charge 